Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about what to do if you've lost a loved one in the PG&E fire. Be sure and watch this video to the very end because we have an important message for you. Hi, I am California Attorney Mosley Collins. In this video I want to talk about what to do if you have lost a loved one tragically in the PG&E fire in Butte County, California. You know, there's no greater loss. People, some people lost their house, some people were injured. There's no greater loss than to have a loved one die in a fire. Now, I've, I've represented a number of people, families who lost someone who died in a fire. It's always a tragic, tragic story. So it's too complicated for you to try and do this on your own, for you to try and sue PG&E. This is an example of a lawsuit against PG&E, 70 pages long. 11 causes of action, that's just too complicated, especially in a time when you're filled with the grief of the loss of your loved one. You know, I know a little bit about that. I didn't lose a loved one in a fire, but I did lose my house. My house burned down a few years ago, and I lost everything in that fire. But luckily, my son, who was home at the time, was pulled out of the fire and got out alive. Some smoke inhalation, but he's alive today. And so that was a close call. If, you, if your loved one died in the fire, I'm so sorry for that. We'd be happy to help you. You just call us at 916-444-4444. If you have a question, just put it in the comments below, and my staff and I will answer it without charge. Thank you. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have a question, put it in the comments below, and my staff and I We'll answer your question based on California law as soon as we can without charge. It's just our service to you as a victim of the PG&E fire. Thank you.